Hello everybody, welcome to another play-in final phase match. We've got Diomed, who is 2-0 with Orcs in blue, versus Hubbin Bubbin, who is 2-1 with Orcs in red. So Diomed set up for Heartbreak with his first loss being Elimination. Uh, he has gone Heavy Guard, 4 Guard, Biggins, a Mighty Blow Blitzer and a Tackle Blitzer. A lot of people have done the Mighty Blow Blitzer and Tackle Blitzer. I like it more when you don't have a Troll. Because then you know you, you want a mighty blow blitz every turn. So I like I like this setup more with a mighty blow on the tackle with without a troll. And I, I think I prefer no troll. Honestly, three re-rolls and an apple and uh, twelve players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. And then Hubbin Bubbin still got twelve players and an apple. Um and somehow has a troll as well. So I don't understand why. <laughs> <laughs> Why he's got a troll extra, but he, he does magically. Um, oh, it's because he's got leader, so he's only got two re rolls, but the leader's giving him the third, I imagine. Um, so he's got leader, and he's got the mighty blow. See, I don't like the mighty blow when you've already got a troll for like your dumb attrition blitz. So I think your tackles like your, your scalpel right versus uh, underworld elves, undead that aren't in, but you know, if they were in. <laughs> and then he's got three guard total so yeah i would have rather seen like four guard so yeah so he's given up a skill to get the troll and he's put a skill on the troll and honestly i i think i would prefer to have guard on a on like a mobile blitzer rather than the troll um because you know just because it puts more eggs in one basket when he when he inevitably boneheads so i'm not i'm not a great fan of a skill on the troll and i'm also not a great fan of a mighty blow blitzer when you've got a troll as well so there you go um there's my takes on the teams. We've got lip service to a blitz here from Diomed, which is fair, right? You, like a blitz isn't too crushing from an orc team. And uh, we've got the anti-frenzy setup from Hub and Bubbin here, which, you know, not only is it anti-frenzy, it does protect you from, from, you know, a blitz in general. Probably shouldn't be reserved for anti-frenzy. It does encourage Diomed to put players on the LOS here in case of a quick snap to you know get free blocks and stuff i'd be very tempted to like put two guard biggins over here and then on a quick snap move them both in and get 2d 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 blitz cr absolutely crush him so there is there is a risk involved in this aggressive very aggressive setup oh god i'm going to do an amazing dm to somebody now bear with me quick snap there is a quick snap oh my god i'm so good at blood bowl i'm so good at blood bowl oh <laughs> now the problem <laughs> the problem here is um not only has he not set himself up to benefit from uh the quick snap you know there's the danger of losing your turn <laughs> there is the danger of losing your turn when you get a quick snap <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he's instant double scold. I think you've got to re-roll that as much as you don't want to with only three re-rolls. I think you know you can't afford to uh start off on the back back foot here. Um And look, see this is the thing. This is what I'm saying about the the autopilot, right? We've seen this so much in this tournament. Top level players autopilot should be you know the safe moves first right like move this guy before you make that even though it's a block full block and there's a one in twelve nine six of it failing completely you know first of all you've not given yourself the opportunity to not take it and then you know he's just made two blocks he's moved all of these moves should be made first you should always be making them first with this bit, see, it's different when you get in different situations, and not to excuse myself from my mistake, but the reason I made my mistake versus Glentio was I did the safe stand up, and then I thought about going one way and decided to go in the other, and then when I changed my mind, I didn't then come back to the safe moves. But the, the safe moves that I ended up should have done wouldn't have necessarily been safe moves if I'd taken another line. Whereas his line is obviously, you know, make LOS blocks and pick up the ball. There's, there's no, there's nothing changing here. He's not getting like, you know, he's not, you know, delaying 
moving these players isn't you know opening up a chance for a break ahead or whatever. So he really, really should have made the safe moves first. And I kind of hate moving this guy over here. Really hate this. Really hate this. Really, I, If anything, I would have brought him back here, right? If anything, I would have reinforced here in front of the ball. But um, it's not It's not too weak. But, you know, what What if that's a 1 in 9? Well, now you've got to re-roll it, right? This is the problem. Like He made that 1 in 9. If he got it an, an instant auto re-roll, there's no chance he could have allowed... Uh, hope and boom to capitalize on that. So that was a that was a bit of a dodgy move over here. I guess like you know it it does protect like this is the obvious blitz over here. Right, get two assists in and uh or one one assist in blitzing with another big one or whatever, but once the blitz with mighty blow anyway, right? So if you're blitzing this guy, there's nobody you could really I guess he could, I guess you could put guard in two team or whatever, but even then, I don't know. Yeah, he's covering the wing versus the rats, exactly, right? Versus Galentio, who's just played with, you know, uh, uh, pro elf catches. Yeah, have this guy covering the wing, but cover, cover here to cover against the 1 in 9 or the 1 in 81, you know? Like, this is such a good square. You're screening with this guy, and this this guy screening with this guy, and this guy would have been screening with this guy, and this guy screening with this guy, so it would have all interlocked, interlocking screens so that no knockdown would have allowed pressure through. And he would have been fine, and and he just didn't. Don't call me chicken. <laughs> Hello, Elliot. Hello. I had to do that DM. I was like, oh my god, this is going to be brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good. It was pretty good. <laughs> Fantastic, D Dimmy. Dimmy starting a new, a glorious new trend <laughs> in Discord. <laughs> just, just sending chicken to people. <laughs> Anyway, he hello Elliot, how are you today, sir? Hello, good, good, good. Just got me, got me tea, so I'll be uh, quiet for a few minutes while I'm eating my tea. But yeah, good. Oh, glorious. We've had an interesting start, you know, talk through the teams, and, uh, mm. you know, Diamond has been a little lax on his fundamentals, you know, not making safe moves first uh, on, a, on a ball securing turn. Uh, I, ah. I, f I find that to be, like, the worst time to do yeah. things wrong in terms of not in the impact on the match because you know it's only going to really matter one in 12 nine six times or maybe one in 36 maybe it makes you take a re-roll that you maybe didn't want to make but it just should you know art says it all the time and he is right like these should be automatic and you should be making all of your safe moves yeah. first 100 percent of the time there's really no excuse yeah. for not doing that in these kind of situations different when things get spicy later on in a drive yeah but right now this should be nailed on so he, we, I like this, you know, it gets him a follow-up hit if it's a push, and it doesn't leave anybody based. Oh, I'm, am I still sharing the screen in Discord? Wow. Yep. <laughs> All right, good, thanks. Sorry, sorry, back to your, back to your dinner. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry for interrupting. <laughs> 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 And then he goes in anyway. So if you're going to go in anyway, then I'm not even sure about this this much anyway. But I guess because he got the stun, right? Because he got the stun, he's like, aha, now that I've got the stun, I can uh, I can put this in and ask a few questions. Yeah, okay, that's that's understandable. It's funny they've both got a Mr. Throw, isn't it? I guess everyone yeah. who's got Orcs has got a Mr. Throw in this, because, like, it's... Um. Struggled, didn't he? No, no, he didn't. No, true. I guess most people have got a Mr. Throw. In it. <laughs> it's even more embarrassing, isn't it, Mr. Throw? Now that the biggins move just as fast as him, Jesus yeah, Christ! Yeah, that's really funny. Yeah. Jesus Christ! How embarrassing! I guess it's realistic in terms of the NFL, where you've got like you know, uh, Tom Brady runs about as fast as your average offensive lineman, but. Uh, it's a bit it's a bit weird for like blood ball right like it just, it's just not a good choice just carrying on the carrying on the blitzer is so much better yeah. does everyone who's still in the tournament have a mr throw no there's lizards lizards oh no but lizards have a lizards have a camo skink right uh, yeah oh shit maybe maybe you're onto something does do, chunter do you have a throw in your team Rats, rats could have a thrower. Art's got a thrower, obviously. Lizard uh, with Underworld. All the lizards probably have a um, 
probably have a one. Obviously, dwarves have runners. Uh, black orcs don't have a throwing positional. Ah. Um, obviously, Eliod and Moomin Slayer, if he wins, has one. And then Colium can't have one if, if they are replaying in the end. We don't, we're not sure. And obviously, Galentio has a thrower. So, um, yeah. And then looking at everybody who's left, they've probably all got at least a chameleon skink. Flip me. <laughs> yes, Pedro. Yeah, the league teams are binned. Well, so this is this is right. This is not exactly in a. It's not. I wouldn't say so. It's not official, um, but it's educated guesses. Is what's going to happen is, like, on an average year, some amount of ladder playoffs will happen with the ladder teams. And then some amount of, and then and then those teams will all then qualify for a yearly, big money one, which will then all be NAF res, and then also like maybe NAF feeder tournaments as well. So I don't know how it's all going to work, but that seems to be what's going to happen. You know, obviously not guaranteed, but that looks to see what will happen. So you know that'd be quite good, right? If like that NAF kickoff, you know, if if you have like maybe four NAF events a year. And obviously the four ladders a year, and that could give you, you know, sixteen qualifiers, and then you don't need play-ins, right? Because you just you just go with the top two from ladder. Oh no, sorry, the top the the ladder winner, and then the the playoff winner, and then like the NAF winners, whatever. Like you know, there's all sorts of things you can do, isn't there, to get like assemble your uh, your sixteen players or whatever. Yeah. Pros are such an OP team. I mean, the pro the pros are not OP. It's, uh, but he's done well with them, hasn't he? Mm. Yeah. So that's what I mean. I think they're going to do. I think they're going to do normal ladder playoffs every season, and then and then have them have them feed into a bigger one where everyone's on the same footing. I think it's a cool idea. Yeah, res res makes them less shit. Yeah, though you know they got to the final of the uh, of the pre What was it? What was it called? Number Wang, uh, the the Tumblr Wang. Tumblr Wang. Tumblr Wang. Yeah, they got the final of Tumblr Wang. They um, won the Warp Sword Open last year. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Elliot using pro elves and defeating pro elves in <laughs> in two big tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, like they're not terrible, right? Like they, they might be, they might not be the worst elves, but they, they, they might not be the best elves. Yeah, I, I think dark elves are the best elves, right? And then I think high elves, wood elves, and pro elves are all actually pretty close. Mm. Um, but they're not. They're not. They might not be the best elves, but they're not terrible or even bad. Like even the worst elves are still pretty good. Like right? elves yeah. are pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're worse than they were, but they're not. Like overall, the elves are worse than they were, but they're. No, oh, they still... are, but they get sneaky it now. DP sneaky it. <laughs> yeah, I mean they were pretty OP before, weren't they? That's the thing. Like they're you know wood elves especially. Um, yeah, wood elves are definitely worse. Yeah. You know, especially NAF style as well. In particular, in particular, Wood Elves are a lot worse NAF style, aren't they? They were, they were monstrously OP for many, many years. <laughs> they were like, you know, what about a sixty percent win rate or something in tournaments, and that's with always being tier one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now, now they get tier two sometimes and don't win as much as they used to. So. Though it seems a pretty good deal when you get to play tier tier two woodies, doesn't it? You know, as uh, oh yeah, as as Store did. I remember in UKTC, it seems a pretty good deal. So. What I don't like here is is this guy being like unsupported, right? That guy I would have preferred like one down, so they would have still, or maybe even two downs. So there was like you know some kind yeah. of a screen because this guy can get blocked down and these two isolated mm. on that. Now he can just bust open the middle as well, so. Mm. 
in lots of options here for Hub and Bubbin. Um, and I think you know, I think he was right to do the one D. Maybe nudge nudge the ball over here. But this is the problem because this guy isn't here. The nudge over to here is worse, isn't it? Because then then you're inviting this guy to be blitzed and pressure put through that way. So you still could, right? One, two, three, four, five. You no, know, nearly. Could double G if I base the ball. Could blitz this guy and then one, two, three, four, five. No, I can't. He's just going for the deepest guy. Yeah. That's a follow up as well, it's nice. Yep. Generally, uh generally blitzing the deepest guy is is pretty 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 much like your go to play, isn't it? As a as a defence here, you you yep. blitz the guy furthest forward. And you keep as much as impossible, you know, as much impossible, as much as possible in front of you, so that um, you know it's harder for him to break through. Uh, but yeah. I quite like this kind of L shape that you know he's got quite a, quite a few guys, up, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. Blodge step, dauntless tackle, gutters, flip me. The best player ever will return to Blood Bowl three to retain his World Cup. Um, World Cup was was it? I mean, I don't know if you're trying to have a go at Guinness here, but the last one was Ornan, right? Mm. Ornan with his average of 16 AV breaks per game. <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly, won won the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at the moment, uh, Davo is, is averaging about 14 removals, never mind half a bit. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he's certainly on form to, to be the best player. <laughs> This is weird because, like, obviously this block looks really good to take and this block looks really good to take, but where you push them kind of makes you a bit weaker in a way. So, yeah, like, this is the thing. Pushing here gives him blocks back if he, unless he doesn't follow. And if he doesn't follow, well, then that frees him up to move around. Yeah. So I wonder if just not block... Like, it seems stupid to not block, right? But I wonder if not blocking either of those was, was better there. It was an interesting, interesting yeah. turn. I was once, when I, back when I was streaming years ago, I was once playing Zons versus Zons. That was a fucking great game. And uh, I had a load of Zons with guard, based, like a line, like just a little straight line of like six or seven Zons with three or four guard, based on the enemy line of six or seven Zons with no guard. And uh, and I, and I I instead of blocking the ball, I just clicked end turn. Shawnee was in chat. And he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I just thought, yeah, I don't really want them to, to push them away from me. I, I'm never going to knock them down, obviously, because they've got blood. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. it, it, it was probably the wrong call. To be honest. I probably should have blocked them. But, but yeah, I thought, yeah, I just don't want to push them away. Yeah. Yeah. And like, look, if he if he didn't do this, he's got two D on him, and then he's got two D on him, and then he's got two D on you know, like yeah, he, exactly. It, yeah, it's looking yeah. pretty rubbish if he doesn't if he doesn't beat them off. Yeah. <laughs> and then the the blue orcs have guard as well, like so. Yeah, they they can absolutely take the blocks back if you don't push them away. Like, yeah. So yeah. So you probably, you probably do have, have to take the blocks there. Yeah. yeah. Even though it, even though it, it somewhat makes things worse. It also, you know, it stops them getting worse, doesn't it? That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. It stops them getting worse next turn. Yeah. You're not really doing it for an advantage this turn as much as you are for it not getting worse next turn. And obviously, of course, you might randomly just cast them as well, right? Even though they're blockless blocks and loner block. Like, you know, a loner, a loner mighty blow two dice. Blockless mighty blow. It's still a mighty blow two dice, right? You're still 55% knock him down-ish because you want the one in six not to activate. But you're still about 50-50 to knock him down. And then, you know, much higher odds to remove him than normal. So you've got to make them, but they just weren't... They didn't look that good, did they? Yeah. If he'd powered them and killed them, <laughs> then it would have looked better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's it. every dice roll you make. It's funny, isn't it? Because yeah, you know yeah. it's got a chance of working, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like it's ridiculous, blood ball, right? Like most of the time, most of the time, okay, not quite most, but almost half the time, you're just pushing them, mm. and then and then every so often they die. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. yeah, it's re really weird, isn't it? Oh man, one D yeah. gets them both down. No mighty blow on the one on the one D, which is very nice for the Lino. Yeah, Pedro, this was pretty much always going to be the way this one went, right? Orcs versus Orcs. Um, yeah. It's going to be just a big old messy scrap. And this is a this is a bit of a problem, honestly, for Hub and Bubba. If he wasn't down here this turn, then uh, Diamed hasn't moved forward at all in four turns. But the fact that he's got somebody behind his line, even if he you know engages here or just he might back off, right? He's only got one player in in base. He might just back off and screen now. Uh, you could uh, you could chain it. You could blitz around the back of the mic blow blitzer, chain the big enough. Yeah, yeah. I guess you'd leave someone in contact with the guard bigger then. Oh no, you could do a follow up with a tackle on the guard bigger. Four. Oh no, 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 no. That. Oh yeah. So yeah, he blitzes the guard bigger behind the standing bigger and then blocks backwards with the standing bigger to free himself up and block the guard bigger. Four. That's pretty good, isn't it? I wonder if he's going for it. It looks like it, doesn't it? Looks like he could be right. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Just pull that one more square, and then, yeah, he's... Uh, yeah, fill that. As, it's just a bit sad you don't do it with Mighty Blow. Yeah, it would be a GFI yeah. with Mighty Blow. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, he's not doing it. Yeah, but then, then you get to block the... But yeah, you can block the big one now, can't you? Just block the big one. And that's not bad either, because you can follow and just turn the blitz away. You've got the strength advantage, so... You do need an, an two more assists, though, right? Yeah, it's true. Defensive. It's a big yeah. bid overload, yeah. Big, um, yeah. big commit. And when he gets the push. The push is a bit shit. <laughs> yeah. Whereas if he'd done the blitz chain thing, he would have pushed him to there and he would have been he would have not been in contact at all, wouldn't he? So yeah, that was a pretty cool that was a pretty cool idea that Eliod. Ten out of ten from Eliod. Um But you know, not terrible from Hub and Bubbin. And no, no, no. But you know I, the, the thing is as well, with the fancy stuff it's like Half the time you get this like cool idea to do a chain push, and it's just not really worth it, right? You you barely get any extra advantage out of it anyway, so yeah. Yeah. Or you think I'll you think I'll power this guy, and then I'll be able to do this cool thing, and then you get a push, and you're like, oh, this is shit. I wish I'd just yeah, done the boring yeah. move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, he mighty blowed his opponent's mighty blow guy, right? Like, that, mm. that's pretty good. You yeah, know, yeah. that's a pretty good play. So. Yeah. Orcs versus Orcs non-stop excitement. I don't know, it's 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 not I'm just excited. it's not just roll more powers and removals. It's really not just roll more powers and removals. There, there's an yeah. element of roll more timeouts than the opponent. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, that, that's that's not Orcs versus Orcs, please. That's that's only in the Orc versus Dwarf matchup that the timeouts become oh, okay. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, no, it, it is. It isn't just roll and removals, right? But I mean, it's obviously yeah. a big part of it. Like you know, ma maximizing your two Ds, and but there's there's also the getting the penetration, right? Like this is turn five, and we've got very little penetration, mm -hmm. and uh, you know the positioning. You know, okay, there's a lot. There's what five, five or six guys blocking every turn, but there's all the other guys running around trying to stop the breakthroughs, etc. You know, trying to get this one-on-one -on -one tag here, the lineman on the troll right, which he's engineered. Things like that, isn't it? Those those trades that you want to be making and stuff. So it's it's not just rolling more powers and removals. But I mean, if you don't roll, if one side rolls loads of powers yeah. and the other side doesn't, you're gonna you're gonna be in for a very difficult game for sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, look at this. I mean, this is great, right? This is great for Diamond. He's got six on three. So like, he's got an amazing player player trade there, and then he's got worst player on be uh, you know well not best worst. Yeah. Cheapest player on most expensive player here, uh -huh. and he's got three on six over here. So like you know, now has that happened because he's been lucky? But well, he certainly hasn't rolled more removals. Has he rolled more powers? Is it just dumb luck, or is there you know? There's obviously some element of player. Yeah. We, we just don't know how much or exactly. It's what's... looking pretty nice now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We just don't know exactly what's happening. This is this is the problem, yeah. is it? We're just yeah. You know. 
Yeah, this looks terrible now for uh, yeah. for Hub and Bubba. And from looking quite good a couple of turns ago, right? It's crazy. I though. wonder if the blitz is on the the guard biggin, right? You move three biggins then. Yeah. Him. But he doesn't though, he just stands. I don't yeah. think he does. Even, then even some GFIs, right? Guard, bigger on the guard, guard, blitz on the guard bigger, then GFI all your biggins across. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably ha he probably kind of had to, yeah. And then the other guard bigger, the red bigger, can come in to assist the guard bigger on guard bigger to hit. Yeah, I think yeah. I like bringing up that guard bigger, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Obviously, that's you, can, you can move Mr. Throw and Mr. Tackle first, get them through and out of the way. Yeah. And he still can, right? Wait, wait a minute. This guy, he can hit the ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, it's, a, it's an uphill, isn't it, with a guard? Yeah. But he can hit the ball. He can, yeah. So he can block there, and then he can one, two... Oh, you'd have to blitz him to get him. One, two, three, four, five. I was thinking you could get this guy in here, right? But then you'd have to blitz to free uh, him anyway. Yeah, yeah. God, how many times can Elliot say God Biggin in once? <laughs> <laughs> lots of God Biggins on the pitch, I don't know if you realise. Yeah, so he does free him up, but now he's blitzing like backwards, right? Because he, he blitzed the tackle man away from the ball. Yeah. Uh, and, and and it's an extra player. He had to stand that one big one, which loses two squares of movement now, right? Mm. Not, not not just one, because he's movement five. So, yeah. yeah. Bit of, I feel like you've just got to go for the, the one in nine blitz, um, which is a bit shit, but... You know, you need to get the girls back, don't you? Yep. Yeah. Oh, he'd stood up, this blitzer, so... Oh, okay, that makes more sense, doesn't Quite it? like the guard in there, though, right? To get the, the guard... If you put the guard bigger in here, this guard bigger could have hit this guard bigger. Stop saying it's guard bigger, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the 1D here. I think you have to do this, yeah. right? Yeah. Defenseless, and then that frees this guy up. Yeah, this is, this is still pretty good. He's got a lot back, hasn't he? He's done yeah. Well. yeah, good recovery. He's, he's turned this into three on three again. Yeah. And he's got two and one here, which means he can free one up. Yeah. And he's, yeah, like you know, okay, he, he is paired off here, which sucks, but at least he's got a lot back in front of the in front of the ball. Nothing behind the ball, really, has he? So. Yeah. Let's pick up. Just leaves that guy there. Interesting, because the only guard bigger than that. <laughs> Diamond! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like you know can't really get in to do this hit so this is actually a pretty good pair off isn't it so yeah I quite like mm -hmm. not making that hit Four, hello fallen glory it's great isn't it it's great having Elliot back streaming you know, in a way <laughs> in a way <laughs> Elliot's back streaming it's great <laughs> glorious glorious time for Blood Bowl do, do you just surf this this guy? <laughs> it seems rubbish, but you could, right? You could block him, follow, dodge, surf, and then get a guy down the side. But, you know, it seems really stupid. But, like, just going forward here doesn't look very good. You've only got three guys who can come. Which isn't, isn't great, is it? <laughs> I'd like to see more coming than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh well he gets a removal finally will the person with the most removals win it's a pretty irrelevant removal but it's not that irrelevant right turn six now now he's just over halfway line with two turns left to score so this guy is a pretty strong scoring threat i remember uh my necromantic uh versus i had like i had like three practice games i think with core before the uh before Blitz Pit, the, the team's Blitz Pit. And like, pretty much every one, his elves got in the way, and I had to go and try and do a handoff to like a, a spare white or whatever. So, so you know, he's gonna he's gonna have the chance to get this Blitzer up and be like a, a kind of desperation handoff or pass. So pretty, pretty, pretty nice removal actually, even though it kind of looks worthless. Oh, we did a removal? Oh, we moved a line off? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is dodgy, isn't it? Is he gonna is he gonna stand there and pass or standing there and passing Double. looks the best? I think. Well, I was thinking. Oh, I see. And I'm, I'm I'm thinking double GFI. Okay, double GFI. Yeah, that's what he did. 
So just get two. all right, all right. Double GFI gets free. I thought the double GFI was there. I was like, but he just gets two D. <laughs> but okay, double GFI through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize he. I didn't realize he could move that far, man. Mr. Throw the legend. Yeah. Oh, he puts... <laughs> he's not that slow. <laughs> <laughs> puts in oh, the reroll good. for the dodge there. Yeah. So now, he... okay, that's pretty good actually, isn't it? That's pretty good actually from Diamond. Pretty good turn. Like, this feels, though, like a score next turn, honestly. It does. You can sm smash one of those blitzers down, base everybody up, and, uh, yeah, it feels like a 2 turn bubble bubble. It does, but... Or, you know. or some rowdy-ass storm <laughs> next <laughs> turn by Diomed. It does, but, you know, you wouldn't bet on Orc scoring into... A uh, hub and bub and coached uh, Orc team no. scoring in two <laughs> turns, which... <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> no, I... I, I... Honestly, it's just, it's just out, out of the realms of possibility, isn't it? Like, you'd have to be the unluckiest person in the world to get scored on in two turns by a hum bub and orc touchdown. A hum or orc two turn. Exactly. <laughs> Most dice man in Blood Bowl, some might say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, this is looking pretty tricky to stall. Mm, yes, yeah. I mean, it might be, well, he probably might have to do a, a two plus to score, even. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He would have to make a great pass to win. <laughs> he would. He would. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, he could do that. This, this is the play he has to do, I think. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it gets a bit tricky, right? Like this one D is yeah. obvious, but then like now, now you to score, you probably have to like do a one D blitz. So I, I think this is yeah. the play he has to do. It's pretty good. And he has seen it, and he has rolled. Oh, so he's gone Ooh. back. I preferred in. I guess it's the same, pretty much. I think, no, I think it's worse, because now you're 1D, and now the tr he blitzes through, right? One, oh, two, yeah. One, two, three, so, four, yeah, five, yeah, GFI, yeah. GFI, you only need to push. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas if it's there, it would have had to be a 1D, probably, so... Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. I mean, nitpicky, nitpicky, of course. <laughs> but I I do think that the, that was stronger. Okay. Oh no! If he'd gone that, if he'd gone that side, yeah. it would have been better. Yeah. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. He could have double GFI to there. Yeah, that would have been yeah. slightly better. It would. Have, I mean, it would have still had a two D for a pal. We still scored on the pal. But. but then you know, it, obviously, like he's not. He's not that. Sad if Diamond scores next turn, but he's yes. not that happy but, either, is he? Yeah, you might as well. Even if you're still doing pretty well either way, you might as well make the best of it, right? You know? Yeah, like, yeah. This is a thing, right? It's not just about like uh, doing the good things when you like really need to do them. Like it's it's always all about that, like that always incremental gaining equity, right? Like always getting the most out of a situation, even when you're really favoured. You know, you still got to make the most out of what you got, right? Mm. Yep, hundred percent. So now here's a question. You've got one reroll. <laughs> do you block with block? And Diamed thinks no. Block with. Oh, oh do, 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 just do the extra hit, yeah. Yeah, it's Yeah, not okay, against an orc, it's a bit. And, and yeah, no, I don't, I don't think you'd do here, right? Like, oh, he's rolled up. GFI. Oh, Mr. Oh, Throw. He oh, he makes it. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Throw. Let me. Let me. Well, there you go. So, you know, good drive by Diamond, good good effort by Hub and Bubbin, and he does give himself a two-turn chance. Now, of yep. course, Diamond knows he has, is defending a two-turn, which makes a little bit of a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Not bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Not bitter at all. <laughs> Won't mention it as much as my uh, strength for witch elf, but <laughs> might mention it every now and then. <laughs> yep. Mr. Thropy. <laughs> yeah. M made like about three more GFIs than you would have had to make if he was a blitzer, but... 
In fact, maybe he's four because he could have been further forward in other turns, maybe as well. So that he might have yeah. just not had to. If that been a blitzer, he might have had to not make any GFIs at all. Potentially, yeah. you know, who knows? Like you're not using your whole movement every turn, are you? There's there's many times that yeah. like a yeah. blitzer would just move five because he he didn't, you know, or, or, the, or the six square could have been worse or whatever. So. So he's doing the six squares, or five squares back thing. Okay, maybe, yeah. oh yeah, maybe this is better than, I think I did six. I, so I, I don't, yeah, it's fair. I, I, I like closer, you know, like, I understand that then they can get in behind you, I guess, but. Yeah. I still feel like it's hard to tag everybody out. And, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess this makes sense, yeah. But yeah, I yes. think, I like this better than six, right? Yeah. Because, because you can just get in range if it's six, right? Like, you can put, like, three flips just in range. Yeah, but I don't know which one I did. I think I think I did do six, but, uh, yeah, looking at it now, I should have done this. Shit. <laughs> Shit, this is a lot better. Than, oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> I hope I did this. I, don't, I can't remember. I just, well, I'll never <laughs> look. Watch I, I'll, watch I'll never watch the VOD. Never watch the VOD. Well, if anyone can make a 3% chance to, to, to score, it's Buffett, so let's see what he does. He's got, he's got three damn rerolls. I mean, yeah, yeah I, I, this is a good defence by, by Diamond. It's it's just tough to get people in range, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess... Yeah, I, actually, yeah. I, you know, I, I, the more I look at this, the more I kind of like it over the closer defence, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Despite the, my, that main instinct being, like, the, the like let's say, three squares back defence, you know. This is just so much more. Because if it's three squares, you can just blitz the one side and then pull everybody around the corner, can't you? Whereas yeah. you can barely reach the corner here, isn't it? Yeah, thing. yeah. On the corner, just through through this guy as well. You could have biggened this guy and then moved people through, right? Yeah. If he's there, so. Yeah, so yeah. I guess you way. just do that and do a million cheer fights, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So mm. it's, it's still chances, isn't there? Still chances. Super interesting. Yeah, this 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 mm. looks so much better than six back. I'm I'm pretty sure I did six yes, back, which is yeah, pretty. Yeah, definitely. Pretty, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. I'm like this a lot. I like the guard position as well and stuff. I, I do like this a lot. This is Diamond must have played NAF before, wasn't it? Was, no, Dion Lord was the was the Italian orcs, wasn't yeah. he? And Diamond is yeah. the Russian uh necro. ladder. But I mean, he, necro. Yeah, but he, he, he's maybe he's uh, oh he's got a blitz. Ooh. Oh, he might, he might destroy his defense. <laughs> yeah, like, how much do you do here? I don't know. You can move these ones over, probably. Well, right? but then the Lino gets in range for free. Yeah. Well, not if you, you know, put a guard in and blitz the Lino. Mm, okay. Yeah, but then and the then Big that... gets in range for free. Yeah. Not, yeah. <laughs> nah, he's maybe not. Maybe he's, gone, he's on three players then, right? So then you could bring this guy over and make this. Okay, so he's going, he's going all the way in. Flip yeah. me. Ooh. And he can only move five players, of course. Yeah. I hope he's not forgotten and thinking he's moving all of them. Yeah. Oh, man. So that'd be the worst case. Half, half undoing your defense and then <laughs> realizing you can't do make any more moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. He was straight in with that. He was, yeah. So I guess we're doing like a screen. So that, that guard big and losing in the middle now. Oh God, I said it again. And then two more orcs, <laughs> you know, to, to screen to the right. I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah there, there we go. Yeah. And then yeah. we're blitzing like the tackle or the mighty blow. I guess. Yeah. You can even blitz the tackle or the mighty blow from here, right? With the guard big and can come in there, and always a guard big and here. He would then be like controlling a bit more. So he hasn't done that, but I quite like that blitzing with a guard yeah. big and. Oh, he's got no rerolls, yeah. so he can't do that. He can't do that. He's got no rerolls. Disregard. Oh, you wanted to blitz with the guard begin. Yeah, I thought when yeah. you got the guard begin to put another assist in, so that you could then do the blitz from the square to the left with the tackle. <laughs> Sorry, no. I just wanted to say guard begin, honestly. For fuck's sake. <laughs> 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 now, the problem is. He... If he, if he, maybe he just doesn't complete that screen to the right, because that line orc, that line orc's going to be free, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That line orc's going to be free. Yeah. Yeah, can't re-roll the blitz anyway. Oh my god, I'm a moron. Yeah, so, so yeah, there's no way you want to GFI in a blitz. Right, Elliot? <laughs> right, yeah, so... <laughs> you, you would never roll a two plus on a blitz, would you, Elliot? 
Oh no, 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 not with my best player ever now. No. But he he's got a he so he's got three plus dodgers through now on the right. Yeah. Oh, not anymore. Oh oh no, he guess he blitz the blitzer now. Oh, he can even just block the blitzer. I was I would just not followed there and blitz the black orc. The guard. Sorry, not the guard. Not the black orc. The guard. Guard bigger. Well, he's gonna get the liner in for free, and he isn't easy. He? Yeah, he's definitely gonna do that. Like million yes, percent. Yeah, yeah. I almost we got GFI right. But yeah. yeah. So pretty, pretty good. Oh, maybe you even do two GFIs. Yeah, maybe you, you do. You've got, back. Yeah. you've got three rerolls, but then yeah, exactly. Yeah. You get swamped though anyway, right? Like he's probably just gonna put two you guys do. on him, and that's yeah. gonna be enough. So. And he's uh, he, he's not gonna block anyway, right? So if he does get blitz, the chances are. Yeah. <laughs> he's getting knocked down anyway. Oh, no rerolls for Diamond, so yeah, because it's not that good a chance. Maybe not can't three D either, so. 25% it's pretty good he could what he could do is GFI yeah, 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 I was yeah, thinking yeah. this he could GFI he could follow him follow him in with this big and right this he could block with a troll like later in the turn obviously he could block with a troll then he could go one two three four five GFI GFI and oh, get a big and range the non-guard well. biggin yeah yeah the non-guard biggin yeah <laughs> Big and four. Oh my god, he's called them. He's called them. Which one of the odds? We can say big and four. And that's brilliant. <laughs> okay, well, he's not doing that, but he could have done. I, I quite yeah. like that concept. I guess now he's just going to put the troll in somewhere else. Or he could put the troll in here for this for a blitz through here or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could put a guard big in it. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Yeah, that seems so. So what? Tackler here, big and two blitzes his big and he blocks him, and then if they're all pals, then these two blitzes run through and GFI yeah. and stuff. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you could you could even push the guard big and with your guard big and can't you? As long as you pow the tackler. Yeah. With the guard big and assist. Yeah. <laughs> I'm deliberately trying to not say it there, but he was straight back in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some great new memes in Blood Bowl recently. <laughs> ch 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 chicken, <laughs> guard picking. <laughs> instant, instant memory. It's great. It's great having oh, having whoa, whoa, streams whoa. back. Oh shit! Wait, what? I don't understand. So, how far forward can these blitzers get then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not very far at all. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, Yeah, they can just get into range, can't they? The Dodgers and GFIs, they can just get into range. And he's going for this first before getting a second scoring card. That's weird. I wish he'd done this versus me. Here we go. Make the dodge. Yeah, so we've got our two scoring threats. Yep. You're going to have a chance next turn. <laughs> yeah. And then did he put him in here as well? Oh, he could, could he jump? <gasps> he could jump! <gasps> four plus jump, let's go. Yes! Well, I mean, do you, do you want to do a four plus jump or instead of a three plus two plus two plus? I don't know. No, because you get, get over here rather than standing next to him, right? Yeah, I guess, I guess. This is the thing. Like, standing next to him, he, he could even, like, you know, maybe he's chaining back or whatever, or... I, I guess there are, there's there's value, I guess, to having all three of them together, in a way. Yeah, it means that they can free each other as well, is yeah. the thing, though, right? Like, yeah, make, make and he's got this block, look, he's got this He's got this like Ooh. chain to get things in there, he's got this chain Ooh, to get things cheeky, in there, yeah. so... There's, he has, it's pretty cool having them all together. Yeah, yeah, he's got two heroes left. This is going to be a decent chance next turn, isn't it? Like, it is, not many yeah. players for Diomed to uh, respond with. Either. Yeah, does make you wonder if 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 Diomed made his turn worse with a with a blitz, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you can't have imagined him getting three players. <gasps> in the mid that oh my god! <laughs> Holy <a> moly! <laughs> Yeah, I mean, fair play. Like the only rule is you feed it the bigger now, right? Yeah. <laughs> that bigger over there. But, <laughs> the, uh, do you mean do you mean this guard bigger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guard bigger. Yeah, I didn't see the guard. Yeah, that bigger. <laughs> <laughs> can he hit? Can he hit the ball with this guy? Sure, yeah, he's out of range, but he could he could base him, right? Basing him yeah. is all well, right. One fewer player to really defend with, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Elf stuck on tackle, can't dodge him. 
you could blitz. I oh, know it's because you've got a block blitz for him. Yeah, so you bl you blitz you blitz this guy, and then one, two, three, four, five. Another guard in there. Guard biggest can go in there. Afterwards. <laughs> 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 so you can have them like tagged on the outside. Guard in. He could. Maybe he's like dodge out and then 2D him or something. There's a big one that can hit the ball. Oh, yeah, there's a big one that can hit the ball. A guard big one! Oh my oh, god, yeah, against. just 2D him and then that one, guard two, three, four, down. Five. Oh yeah. my yeah. god, this is instant. Yeah, this guy, instead yeah. of knocking all of this down, he can just go and smash the ball. Oh, yeah, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Double GFI, is it a trap sack? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well done, Doomadan and Arctic Antarctic. I mean, yeah, maybe it is, yeah. right? Because he, he can just blitz this guy with block and then, you know, gang around all of these guys. Like, maybe that's better. It's it's fucking hard to say, isn't it? He could, yeah, he could yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, right? This guy could just blitz through, pound him to there. Yeah, he's still he, out yeah, of range. He's, he's just doing that, yeah. That's fair. No, no. Well, this this one is a bit dodgier. Oh, you wanted him to for the square, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to push him to here. Yeah. Because yeah. then he's 1, 2, GFI, GFI, right? He still can't score, so I'd have powered him to there and then carried on moving for this this assist. And then this guard, Biggin, would go 3, 4, and then the fifth one, so he'd be in, right? Guaranteed. Right next to the guard, Biggin. Yeah, whereas now he's got a GFI to get into there um, yeah. after he keeps moving and gets this block. Yeah, he could actually, he could chain, oh my god, he could chain his own, that chain that you noticed, he can <laughs> chain, I mean, no, he must dodge the line at the end, but if he doesn't, he can chain his own guard big and twice, can't he? Yeah. Once with the big, big and the non-guard big and, and then once with the guard troll. Yeah, so he's putting him in that square. So he okay. saves the GFI, but obviously it's not as good being yeah. strength three, no guard. And then now he can yeah. just assist this block with a big one. The guard big one could come up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's, that is safer, to be fair. Yeah. And, like, this guy's controlled as well, so it's, it's, got, it's got things going for it. Like, this isn't easy for uh, Hub and Bubbin, is it? It's not well, going to be he easy. Can, he can, if he can, if he on, on the chain, you know, if he powers that line up, doesn't change, just powers that line up, pushes the blue guard big into the right, then his red guard big and can. Oh, he's coming over him. here. Oh, oh ooh, you no, know, it's still open though. The, the red guard big and can, like, add a 1D maybe, or maybe there's an assist, I know. The, the blue guard big and, and then he can yeah. 2D the blitzer with the left blitzer, and the right blitzer's just open to. Yeah. To, you know, do you undo his touchdown? Oh, oh, he's dead, 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 dead. <laughs> Uh, oh, the guard bigger is dead. Fuck the guard bigger. The guard bigger killed the other guard bigger. Guard bigger like guard bigger vile. <laughs> and he failed that dodge, so this blitzer is very free now with and that failed dodge fails. Wow. and not this, this one. So now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, now all yeah. sorts of things are possible to um to get this guy free. Well, it's a, it's absolutely brutal death and failed apo. But it, it might be one one to hub and bubbin. Pretty, pretty yeah. likely one one to hub and bubbin. Yeah. Ooh, just a push. That's uh, it's a bit shit, isn't a it? Shame. Yeah. Oh, but you could do the extra chain with the troll though now and and, and, and push the no, guard bigger into can't. it. Oh, can't. Oh, man. Oh, man. Flip. That would be nice. But to be fair, how would you have filled in this square? With the, the non guard bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wait. On the on the left. The, 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 oh yeah, this guy's just free. Yeah. Oh yeah. god, I yeah, just yeah. didn't see that guy. Yeah. So yeah. He's yeah, guard. yeah. He should have pushed him there. Yeah, his non-guard biggins don't don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then chain him in there. Yeah. Oh, was... so but we can still feed the troll, right? We can we can do it. We can do that, but feed the troll now, which is a bit shit because it's a troll, but. Yeah. And there's also and then there's some, you know he. Yeah, he, he could just dodge as well, right? He could just he could just block and free that, and then it doesn't matter. Okay, he's just whoa, dodging. Whoa, he's just yeah, dodging yeah. the blitz. Yeah, it's fair enough, I guess. Yeah, it's it's. Not it would have been it would have been sexy to do things like this, yeah. but this this works, doesn't it? It's gonna yeah. be like an intercept or something now as well, maybe right? Yeah. So, but shit. I mean, he could knock all these guys. Oh well, he could chain him out, and then he could go up and and probably yeah. pass without. Yeah, yeah, he probably should try. 
Like intercept is pretty shit. Like it's something that you it can't reroll, right? Like, yeah. When you've got two, when you've got two rerolls, it's nice to not do things that you can't reroll. Yeah. And you might kill an orc as well as a bonus. So yeah, I think <laughs> I'd take the take the bigger one in nine. Yeah. Guard bigger one in nine. Well, he's not. He's no. running up. It's probably a four, three plus pass, four plus pass. Four plus, four plus. Makes the animosity. But a two on the throw. Into a three inaccurate, on the throw. Inaccurate. No. Oh, and he, and he, gets... he intercepted it. Well, I deflected it anyway. Yeah, deflected, yeah. Yeah. So, now it's huge advantage, Diamed. Yeah, yeah. Opponent down a guard bigger than wow. And he yeah. already had two guard biggins to begin with. Yeah. It's it's four versus one in terms of guard biggins. Oh, that's a huge guard biggin advantage. <laughs> <laughs> it's massive. It's massive. <laughs> oh, man. Man, if he'd, if he'd, uh, yeah, if he could have engineered a non-deflection way and then maybe, maybe got a bit closer and stuff, like, you know, may, maybe there was, there was probably better ways to do that turn to maybe get a, a you know, maybe get a three plus pass, um, without an intercept, right? Yeah. Like yeah get GFIs yeah, in yeah. and stuff. Oh, fuck me. I'm just fucking around, then. Anyway, I guess he's, it's I guess it's like a fumble joke, right? Because there was the uh, oh, you know, they've got the majors, haven't they? And fumble, and they've got the secondary competitions, which I really wish they'd rename because <laughs> it's really bad when you talk about like you know the player of the year and stuff, and then entering them <laughs> is the is the problem. Oh. But then interfering is not is not the same. Like you know, it's not it's yeah. not a joke. Yeah. It's just. It's not a double entendre, is it? It's a single one, and it's it's just shit. Yeah. Um, hello, Kalon the Turd. A five with the rerolls known to set. But, like, you know, I'm, I'm sure there was a way to, like, clearing things on the way. Like, he should have... If he's going to go with a dodge blitz, then you probably focus on clearing the path so there's no intercept, right? Which might be better because then you're adding a one in nine instead of a one in six that you can't re-roll at all. Oh wow! So he knocks down the LOS, no removals, and then one in nine's the pickup. So you know, oh. uh, some kind of value from uh, Mr. Throw there, <laughs> kind of right. The hit back chain. Yeah, who knows? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I can't say what we do right in the heat of the moment, but. Uh, and I don't even even now watching and talking with the brilliant mind of Eliod, I've got no idea what I would have done in a perfect world. But yeah, um, yeah, not in a perfect world. Yeah, I just, I just, you know, and and that's the thing. Like this is the thing. Like when when we're commentating, when usually coming from a perfect world, aren't we? Where we're not invested in the game at all. Like no, no, we're watching it, but we're not invested like I'm they fully are. Fully invested in these <laughs> god biggins. Yeah, but you know what I mean. When we're not the same, not to the same extent as they are. Even if you like Which watching something, it's not the same as playing it. And uh, and so we've got much clearer heads. And still miss things, right? And still go, still go one, uh, what, like not one, what's the, like tunnel vision, still tunnel vision sometimes, you know. And, and you're in a much better state than they are anyway. Um, I tell you what, I don't like here, putting Mister Throw on the defense instead of the Orc lineman. Like yeah, he, yeah, especially because you don't need to score right yeah, either. Like, yeah, you might say, "Oh, well, I could grab the ball if I turn you over and, and score," but you don't need to anymore, right? Like, so yeah, he basically means nothing to the table, does he? Yeah. Yeah, he's alignment at this stage is basically strictly better. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> that I'm, I wouldn't have bothered trying the dodge off there, so I guess he's going to dodge them all now. Oh yeah. my god! And I mean, if it works, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Get the extra tool tech for of your opponent like melting down as he watches <laughs> all the ores just dodge away. <laughs> yeah, Malmir did that to me, and then the, you know in the fumble yeah. cup, he just every that was turn. The biggins as well, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> biggins just dodging away. Yeah. Every turn, he's just I'll just stand up all my. I'm just elves, mate. I'm just gonna stand up everybody and dodge them all away every yeah. single turn. I was like, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, I played Andy in uh, in Chalice and Necro Mirror and uh, and like one turn you like based on my home. <gasps> this thing was a bit better. And I... 
Oh, oh! I thought the oh, whole no, point didn't. was to free this guy. Ah. And he didn't. Misclick, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Like surely maybe that was the like point. The like he, troll on him or something he and brought like... him there, didn't he? Oh yeah, maybe put the troll on him. Yeah. And then screen him and maybe maybe get to serve or something. Uh... Yeah, maybe. Anyway, sorry. Let Let's go back to your necro mirror. <laughs> Oh, it's a pretty boring story, but yeah. One turn I did, like, two zombie dodges and a flesh golem dodge. It was just nice. funny. Nice. I remember that. You had, like, a rubbish... You yeah. had a rubbish yes. necromantic team, and he had an amazing necromantic team. Uh, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, Elliot's got no chance here. <laughs> <laughs> Which well, I, I, I probably had more chance than the, the fling, fling versus chaos game. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, so he's not putting the troll on him, he's putting the troll there to set yeah. up the surf later. It's it's interesting, he can't just take the block, can he, because then he gets surfed. So he has to yeah. like, dodge or something. He's going to have to dodge, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to have to dodge or something. Yeah. Or, or surf the troll, and ex you know, surf oh, the guard yeah. troll oh. and accept that his guard big and gets surfed in return. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. But yeah, this is, this, is, this is pretty cool. Actually, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Like you don't often see this right, like planning ahead. Like as tough as it is to say, like I I don't often plan ahead. I don't know about you, but yeah, this is, no, this is some big, pretty big brain stuff by Owen Bubba, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. So trying to even up the guard biggin uh, numbers. Yeah, it's... guard biggin for guard biggin. Yeah. What's funny is, uh, you know, I remember like reading an article or something, you know, that somebody had written and said, oh, like, maybe it might not have been an article, it might have just been like a, an idiotic forum post. And they were like saying, oh, well, the thing is, good players think ahead and stuff. And it's like, I've never thought ahead ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I know I'm good, <laughs> right? Like, uh, I may not be uh, the best in the world, but I know, I, I know I'm definitely good. And it's like, I've, I just never, ever. Like maybe once, like it's just so hard, right? Like it's it is, yeah. It's it's. I mean, there's things about thinking ahead in terms of like you know not getting blitz next turn, but and that's yeah, maybe yeah. a turn ahead. But like sometimes, but like it's so rare that it's it's easier to say I never think ahead. <laughs> Absolutely. But hey, maybe there are. But then there's not advanced that think ahead because we know because it'd be far far better than us. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> But, but well, but then being far far better than someone in Blood Bowl, you only win one percent more. <laughs> Time is the thing. <laughs> maybe, <right>? maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe there is a Magnus cost of Blood Bowl. It's just that you know he doesn't he doesn't play online, doesn't get much exposure, doesn't play many games, but any any and he doesn't have that high that much higher of a win rate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, leap over the orc! Yes! Yes, then even if you <laughs> fail, you're off the sideline. That's perfect. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Way better than the dodge, yeah. Yeah. Four, six plus jump. Let's go. Let's go. Nah, he's not. He's not. He's not miles ahead. He's not. I like. I love K-Fog. And, he, you know, he's probably got the best CV of everybody in Blood Bowl, right? But he's not miles ahead of, of everyone else. No way. No, he's not miles ahead, right? Yeah, and look at this. Go to the dodge. Yeah, he probably he probably didn't see it. He probably just didn't see the the, yeah. the jump player. That was a, that was a really great shout by statistically so, bad at stats. So now we're gonna fill in all. Oh no, we can't. I was gonna say we're gonna fill in all the squares and do the five plus four plus dodge with the tackle bits from behind the line. <laughs> <laughs> so well, we'd have to fill the square that the tackle bits was in. <laughs> to do it. So I dodged it was a tell idea in that case. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite it's quite easy, look. Just just six plus dodging, uphill yeah, blitz, yeah. and then you've got the troll surf. That's easy. Oh yeah, just just surf the blitz instead, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's I mean that go for that easy play instead. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a bad idea. Yeah. I mean what what K Fog's got going for him is that whether you come from Blood Bowl two or I mean, we'll we'll discount Blood Bowl one and Blood Bowl three because they're both not as popular for various reasons. If if you think of the three bastions of Blood Bowl as Fumble, Blood Bowl two, and Tabletop, no matter which one, uh, K Fog's like pretty much dominating all of them, right? So you can understand Tabletop is going Ah Olivier Deluxe the best, but then Blood Bowl two people saying No, he isn't, and you can understand like uh, Fumble is saying Malmi is the best, and then Blood Bowl two players saying No, he isn't. But you know, even if you do think those two are the best, you can't think that they're miles ahead of other people, right? Because 
they're just mm. not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, he went for the play, but he blitzed from the wrong square, unfortunately. Mm. Must have been a misclick. Oh, mm. he did serve him. Wow. I guess that's the app out. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so when I said best CV, I guess I should have meant, like, widest. I guess what I meant was, like, widest CV, yeah. if you like. Yeah. That's the thing. Because, yeah, of course, you've got, like, Malmia winning millions of majors. Justicium, yeah, yeah, the goo, core. Is he the, the only person who's won a major on Blood Bowl 2 and Fumble? And, no, uh, no, there's a... Tabletop? Yeah, probably. I was going to say there's somebody else, but then I don't think there is. Oh, a GFI! He Ooh. doesn't re-roll it. Doesn't get removed, look a dog. Maybe he didn't have to do that GFI, yeah. That's, that's a funny one, that. Maybe he was thinking of, like, some kind of chain that he'd, he'd left on or, or something. Or... Yeah. But what if you, what if he, that somebody had to play on Blood Bowl 3 and Purple Goo yeah. wouldn't have the foggiest idea of how to fucking move anybody? <laughs> <laughs> you know that's the thing everyone's biased you know and and everyone's biased in terms of like looking at that list is heavily biased to tabletop right from PC and I'm sure if you asked and, and like the tabletop scene right English a bit because we've got Goo K Fog and Malmere if you ask Cruz maybe he's maybe his answers are biased towards Blood Bowl 2 and Russian players right yeah. Yeah. so so th there's all that sort of thing as well it would be like it would be kind of cool. Obviously, it's still kind of it, it won't like show who's the best or anything. But it would be fun to have like a like a universal World Cup, right? Like a, some kind of competition where people from all the different formats are playing, right? That would be cool. Yeah. Like obviously, like the Blood Bowl Two World Cup and stuff. Like, yo, know, again, it's it's just Blood Bowl Two players, right? And stuff like that. So it would be cool if someday there was a competition with like all the all the people, all the Blood Bowl people. That'd yeah. Yeah, exactly, Tag. Like, that's the thing, right? They're like, um, I mean, I think that's more your delusion than fact. Um, <laughs> because I've definitely been outplayed by KFOG and Purple Goo at points. <laughs> um, but then they're not like, they're not, they're not gods of Blood Bowl that are way better than anyone else. Like, at the end of the day, I think if you, if you choose, if you choose PC's top five and then like, you know, a hundred other people's top five who are like, if, you know, if you put PC in the top hundred, of, of however you measured anything and then you've got all the other 99 people all make top fives i think all of those top five all of those top hundred would be roughly on the same level and it would a lot of it would come down to teams skills how they played on the day etc 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 yeah there's just so much bias like so so much limited like first of all the information is crap oh yes oh yeah 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 that number one yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah Number one, the information is is, yeah. is basically worthless, and yeah, then yeah. so then all you're going off is like the eye test, and everybody's experience is unbelievably limited. So there's just yeah. really no way for anyone to judge anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. This is a nice pile in by Diamond, isn't yeah, it? This is big, tricky big for Yeah. Yeah. A lot of down players for Umbum, isolated troll. Again, we're not going for the jump. Plus, like, if the jump works, it's amazing, right? If this dodge yeah. works, like, really, who cares? If he leaps Shit, to here, yeah. it's incredible. <laughs> yeah, you, you can even maybe stand up the, guy, the mighty blow blitzer then, right? And just say, okay, well, maybe he serves the guy, but he's the fucking throwers, you know, in big trouble, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, it jumps, jumps are where it's at, aren't they? Like, yeah. and this guy could have jumped to here, right, on a four, better than, <laughs> better than, like, better than dodging to there, you know, like just uh -huh, jump uh -huh. to there on a four and, and then get out. Like, it's it's really yeah. something that people need to consider more. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we just like doing the yeah, doing this chain here, aren't we? And uh, we get a, yeah. we get a follow up with a with a guard being as well to to just. To, to, to... <laughs> That that wasn't intentional. I decided to retire from saying God being just FYI. Okay. As as a joke. I'll okay. just say it now when I need to, need to say it. You know, okay. So. Okay. Yeah, I don't you can go to the well one too many times, can't you? He yeah, didn't you can, need you that can, assist, did he? He didn't need that assist. Yeah. So Oh no. No he didn't, yeah. So I, I, I thought he did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no he did, yeah. Yeah, so so but then I guess now he's got him on a push. Maybe he was thinking if he gets the push, he's got him in. 
already and that's but you know like maybe you thought that was the best place to put him afterwards yeah yeah on a I'll push um but yeah he's, he's under he's under a lot of pressure this now. is rough yeah, yeah this is rough a lot of pressure Yeah, you know, like you, if you're a blood bowl tour, you can be like, well, Cruz has won, you know, Cruz has won Chalice seven times. My pick is Cruz, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. it would be pretty hard for anybody to argue with that in blood bowl two, wouldn't it? You know, in being the CCL goat. Uh -huh. So what's the oh okay we're going really hard up here one two three four five so we can't get the big one in there without a GFI I quite like putting the big one in there even though it maybe opens up more chain opportunities or whatever um oh, so he does the dodge again look the yeah. leap the leap he's done yeah. a four three it's yeah. just worse there we go yeah strictly strictly oh he's oh, using re as well oh my god oh no oh, oh no <laughs> oh. oh no wow. well there you go hub and bow and if you're watching the vod. Leap. Practice your leaps. Well, not practice. Practice looking for leaps. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, you, you do have to practice them because it's so hard to do on, on Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> you, you actually yeah. have to practice leaping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I played a game of Blood Bowl 3. I played a game of Blood Bowl 3 the night, uh, Thursday night, right? Just because I was like, man, I'm going to be out of practice at fucking clicking. <laughs> <laughs> It's so hilarious. It's so hilarious. This is the thing all this talk of Purple Goo put him on Blood Bowl 3 and he ain't doing shit. <laughs> he, he, he's got a good chance of losing to like a dog or something as he just, as he just battles with the UI every turn and the controls. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Timmy is literally called the champ. Yeah, that's a good point, Murray. Yeah, that's a good strong point. argument. Yeah. Yeah, and look, he went eleven three one with knobs. Like yeah, that's incredible. That's good. It's actually incredible. I like, man. I like when you're like, oh, and if you did that with knobs, and, and think about what you could do with other teams. He's like, oh, but knobs are the best. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, refuses to take the compliment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's my favourite part of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like it's, that's fully incredible. Man, eleven three one. Like I yeah, wish to go eleven three one with a good team. Like that's like yeah, man, that's yeah. Good. I mean that's that's pretty much winning BBT form. Man. Yeah, eleven three one with every single race is is going to be yep. a very high score. But if you if but if you plug that into like every BBT ever, you'd be yeah, you'd you, be you, near the top at every one, right? Near the top, yeah. You, you'd need some racial leaves as well. But and if, with some racial leaves, that that won like last season and that season as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, jump. Yeah, the jumps. They're not leaps. Yeah, the jumps. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah shit. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good yeah. Point. Thanks, Barney. I mean, we knew that, of course. But yeah, that is. It is correct. Yeah, they are jumps. Yeah. Yeah. Leap. This is the skill that yes, makes you yeah. better at jumping and allows you to make leaps over opposing players' heads. Yes. Yeah. Can you just do it over opposing players' heads, or can you just leap over? Can, could you just leap in the empty field? <laughs> and then it's oh yeah, yeah, you probably can. Yeah, you probably can. I don't know why you would. <laughs> no, yeah, no, just the style point. You know? Well, no, well, you do, you do leap over, you do leap over empty squares sometimes, yeah. don't you? Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, so you must be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ooh, scores. ooh. But yeah, everyone can jump now, and I, I, I'm so happy that I said that's a big thing people miss, and then we've seen one. I mean, not not happy yeah. for Hub and Bubbin, but you know, it's yeah. it's good to be right, isn't it? It feels good to be right. <laughs> yeah, like it's good, because that, that one, like the others were, were somewhat debatable. Like, I think you're right, they were probably better players, but that one obviously was just strictly, strictly better. Ones, yeah. So. Oh my god, Wait. that was in the troll. <laughs> Where is the troll? <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, the he's here. There. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> god I this thought happened. the blitz was in the wrong square, but it, yeah, there's the troll that's in the wrong square. <laughs> oh, I, I oh, like. Oh yeah, I can't leap adjacent. Yes, here. you have to do a two square leap. You can't leap. Uh, ah, be all oh, right. Okay. And obviously, jump jump has to be over over place. That yes. can't be adjacent either. That always has to be two squares. Yeah. Yeah. So I like the chain off there. I think he's in a pretty desperate spot. So I really like the chain off. Um, and the question is, do you... Bl okay, he's blitzing him. 
Hmm. I don't like that. Yes, he failed, he failed, he failed, he up the blitzer. Okay, yeah, yeah the push. He's thinking of the push, isn't he? He's thinking of the push. I'd rather blitz with mighty blow, or or blitz the tackler here. So, but I guess he's getting some players on field now. He's just got to make a minion GFIs with Mister Throw, or like pass it to. A do, do you hand off to this Linoc or to the blitzer even? Oh, God, yeah. Hand off to the blitz. He could even get in range, right, in case you're desperate next turn and you have to score. Yeah, it's. It's. I mean, I think you are going to be pretty desperate, but I mean, you've got to. Yeah. You've. Yeah. Okay, he's gone. He's gone for. He's gone for it. Ooh, animosity! Animosity! No! Okay, does it? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the play, and then put him off. Yeah. Put him on there, and yeah, dub, bra double him, double him with the uh, yeah. bracket and double. Yeah. You could even double GFI with the with the thrower if he's with the lineman if he's still line up, things, yeah. Because yeah. he's got probably got a three out one two. Yeah, he probably has to. One yeah. two three four five six seven eight. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think uh, you gotta you gotta do it. You gotta get in range. You just gotta, like you just have yeah. to. <laughs> There's no. Uh, there's no doubt. Now, now you can bring this guy to tag him, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Four. four um, you, you, a GFI be better, but I guess you just tag because you, you know you've only got one reroll left, yeah. and you've got to win an overtime. And you really want to move the line orc as well. <laughs> yeah, the line orc is a funny one though, because he's really got to do two GFIs to be effective. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. like putting him in here, it's safer, but it fucking does nothing. <laughs> yeah. Essentially. So oh, you yeah, could, no, yeah, you got to do the GFIs, yeah. You could double GFI oh, yeah, could to here. There, yeah. yeah, Maybe that's better, like, near the ball is quite good, isn't it? Yeah. He can always pick the ball up if he has to, if it does go down or whatever. Yeah, so here or round the back, but either way, I think... You probably don't re-roll, right? You just try. Oh, it just mm. does one. Not, not good enough, is it? No, it? no, I don't think it is. We really don't think it is. Like it does something like if he gets if he does this one D pow and you know if he if he doesn't do the one D pow if he just does like the safer turn which probably doesn't do enough you've at least got a player standing there but in that case yeah, I think probably yeah. just don't do the GFI right just just get him there he's not in range now is he I mean he wouldn't be in range with the GFI either but like if you go one back it's kind of you've still got somebody in the vicinity in case something happens in fact he could be one back here or even like here. Right? Maybe maybe here if is better than this GFI, or at least here is, is just the same. Yeah. Because you still you still got like two movement fives, right? You still got two turns after this. So if you if you go if you don't GFI, you're still guaranteed two five movements. Yeah, he can't hit the ball now. He's just put this guy in, so I, I guess he's blitzing him and then getting back. In which uh, case, having him here is pretty good. Because he can't get tagged and stuff, but I just think he should have been one back and, and just not risk the one in six. I don't think that one GFI was worth it. Oh! He has to re-roll. Oh, doesn't he? Does he? Does he have to re-roll? Oh, man. I hate blitzing with Mr. Throw here when it could have just been the Blitzer blitzing. I guess it depends where the Blitzer's going, right? But I guess, yeah, because the push is shit, whereas this way the push gets him there. But yeah, okay. 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 Yeah. Hard to say, isn't it? A blockless block. He tags him, but then he just blitzes him. in the wrong square. Oh! Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I don't want to be too critical of uh, <laughs> of Hub and Bub, and especially as you know, I would have put him, you know, double GFI'd him or, or put him, you know, around here or, or whatever. If you just wanted him behind to, to be a blitz-free, you could have had him here, couldn't you? Or here even. 
right? Like that would have been the ultimate place to be a blitz-free guy. So this, you know, if if this was his plan, which turns out to be a pretty good plan as it happens, uh, and having him back here would have been a touch better. But as it is now, I guess you dodge 2D. I guess you have to just dodge 2D. Maybe you could have chained a guy here or... Free guy, one, two, three, four. No, it's not, not doing anything. Because 1D blitz is shit, right? He has to just dodge 2D. Great having him there though, because it stops, it stops the push being good enough. If he wasn't there, he could have just blitzed him and the push would have been enough. So this is a great, oh, he's just 1Ding. He just gets the power, oh my God. I hate the 1D, by the way. Oh, no, maybe I don't, actually, because he, it, it, if it's a push, he's got the dodge. Whereas if he pushes him from there... Oh, no, he's still, he would have got no dodge. No, I think I think probably dodge 2D is better. But... Oh, maybe it isn't. Oh, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's a fucking kill. <laughs> it's a fucking kill. And it is a skillless... Essentially skillless blitz that he's killed versus a guard big and blocker, but uh, why are we? <laughs> yeah, it's a good point Moradam. Good point. I wonder which is better. I really wonder which is better because obviously that you've got to reroll the two. You've got to reroll the one or a two Which is the same as if you do the dodge And if you roll a three or a four, you've got to dodge anyway Whereas if you've already done the dodge like, it's still a 3 plus baseline. It's a 3 plus baseline, whereas it was a 2D, 8 out of 9, it would have been enough. So it's got, the dodge has to be better. The dodge has to be better. It just has to be. Hello, Tom of Hull. Yep, Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> this is what it is. Oh, I haven't got the planes little thing on now. This little planes logo, there we go. I don't know if Elliot's grabbing chicken now or what. <laughs> <but>, uh, <laughs> I'm sure he'll be back. No, I'm not sure. Hopefully he'll be back. Yeah, the dodge blitz has to be better, right? Because you're failing on a one or a two. Like, if you're both down... Okay, you're technically still standing, but you're not going to score next turn. You're just not. You're just not, right? You're just not going to score if, if, if you take the ball down. You're just not scoring. You lose the game 1-0 if, if you take the ball down there. So so he's still re relying on a 3+, plus, which then might as well have been the dodge. Because a third of the time, you're having to dodge it on top. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty good. It's a one in thirty six to get the to get the um It's actually much <laughs> he was actually much more likely to get the one D kill than he was to get the the timeout into the pass. <laughs> if we want to be technical about it. But yeah, it's a one. It's a one in thirty-six, isn't it, to to get the cars, and then obviously you only knock him down one in three. So you're about you're about one in one percent to get the knockdown into cars there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Min Max Master. It it has the the dodge just it just has to be better. I'm surprised that he got it wrong because I mean he just got it wrong, didn't he? Like, I don't think failure state is better. I don't think anything's better about doing the one D. But you know, look, he's under pressure. Like I know, I know, I've been in these games. It is, it is, it is tough. And he's gone a square further back, so he's gone the line that I'm pretty sure I went on. And I much preferred Diomed's one line further forward, because look, this is just a free one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like free scoring threat. So I think he absolutely, you know, I think. I think Diomed showed him the correct square to land on, and he's done it on the wrong line. Injured! Oh my god. Well, a line or down. 
Caps Hub and Bubbin at 10. Answers the death. Oh my god, the kick is insane though. Yeah, that's so it's so much better on that on that line. It's really weird that Diamond showed him the better way of doing it and then he's done it the wrong way. I'm pretty sure that he's done it the wrong way, the way that I did, which is wrong. Because he knows he's defending a two turn, right? Like to be fair with mine, I wanted a GFI to hit me, so I didn't want. I wanted to protect my guys from getting hit as well as just defend against the blitz, um, against the riot. So now that you know it's against a two turn, I think one forward is like a million times better, and this is uh, a bit shit, honestly. Uh -huh. It's kind of interesting that we're. We, we've had two seven turn drives and two two turns. It's been a very finely balanced game so far. It has, hasn't it? Yeah. And, like, this is what I thought. You know, like, if, as I said, even though, like, all five of us who predicted this game predicted Diamed, I'm pretty yes. sure all five of us predicted it would be a very, very, very close game. Yes, absolutely, yeah. It's just, uh, if you all think... Yeah, weird. Yeah. Mine is weird, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a shit. Like, I, as I say, I set up on that line because I wanted him to GFI to blitz me. If it wasn't a if it wasn't a timeout, um, and he's just done this line knowing he's against a two turn, that, that, that yeah. just can't be right. I think, and plus Diamond's done the correct line in the in the game. Wait, what did he just fail? Oh, he failed a GFI. <laughs> 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 what have you done? What have you done, Mister? <laughs> he got a good bounce though. He can do. Yeah. He can do a long one no next turn. Break. The handoff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's got away with it. <laughs> oh my god! Amazing, Mister Throw. Yeah, it was a hell of a kick. To be fair. Yeah, the kick yeah. might have bailed him out of the defensive setup. <laughs> yeah, to, to be fair, it's it's a kick that Mr. Thor was built for, right? Like, sadly, he was still just too shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I withdraw that until we see if he makes the six plus next turn. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like this. I wanted to blitz from that square. I wanted my blitzer to blitz him, and then he can pow, and then take that big and away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then block that guy and block that guy. Ah, so he's tagged, he's tagged the relay there. Smart move. Because yeah. there's just a limit on how far Mr. Throw can throw yeah. here. Yeah. In fact, yeah, he just can't get it to... He can't get it to any of the forward blitzers. I don't think yeah, so. Three, four, five, double GF. He can go quite far in, actually. Oh. If he double GFIs. Maybe, maybe, maybe he needs... I think it might be double GF. Yeah, I guess with double GFIs. One, GF, two, right. three, four, five in. One, two, three, four, five. So you can get to him. You can get to this blitz of the double GFI. 13, yeah. Exactly. Maybe one. Um, just, yeah. just. Yeah. <laughs> but he can just tag him as well. I guess he can't double tag him. He hasn't blitzed yet. Maybe he blitzes this lino uh, with a with a big one and then tries to tag both of these guys. You know, tag on either side. Okay, he's not Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, he's blitzing the relay as well. Which I think is probably a mistake because... Yeah. Because he can bypass him with double GFI. Yeah. And this guy is free completely. You can just 2D him. And then this is double GFI. So this is very on. I mean, say very on. It, it is a, a pick up <laughs> a double GFI, a long bomb, a 2D bomb, but it's... It's very honest as the guy who just lost to a Mr. Throw six plus puzzle a few yeah. days ago. It's yeah. <laughs> clearly still fresh in his memory. <laughs> yeah. It's not the best odds, but it, it is very on. Like it's way higher odds than than, than Hope and Bubbins was versus me, isn't it? It's way higher odds. It's just literally a two D B. Yeah. Which is already yeah, done. Absolutely. Just needing a push. Yeah. Does he need to just need a push? Just push, yeah, just to push, yeah. No, no, oh, no. Wait, no. He's no, gotta blitz him as well. He's gotta blitz him as well. Yeah, it's it's it really is. Yeah, it's not that hard, at all, is it? Uh, oh, he's got two rerolls as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. So yeah, man. So yeah. I guess the big question is the GFIs. Do you reroll the GFIs? Because anything after the pass, obviously you're rerolling. Yeah. So oh, what? You... What? No way. Does he, does he does he think he can't reach? Maybe he thinks he can't reach. Yeah. Maybe he thinks he needs the transfer. Oh man, uh, what a mistake from Diamond. I'm sure he can reach with at least, unless, you know, two GFIs. <laughs> no, no, because you, you, you can pass from here to here. 
You can pass the whole length of the squares. field. Yeah, yeah you can pass. Squares, you can yeah. pass. This is a long bomb to the end zone. Yeah, yeah. So and you can go three, four, five, GFI, GFI, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you only need one GFI. Yeah, animosity. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't oh, re-roll the animosity. God. Yeah. Uh, so it's actually it was it was a misplay from from. You only needed one GFI to be able to long. Oh, it only to this one guy. as well. Oh yeah. wow. Okay. I think that was for sure a misplay that that blitz and and trying to like you know the the four plus catch and the dodge away and then another dodge with the ball carrier. Oh well, he wins the toss again, Diamed. Wait, did, oh he used to be roll. Wait, what did he get? Oh, oh he no, did. Leader. Sorry, no, no. Oh, leader. No. Leader. No, no. Bubbins Hub, the leader oh, one. Leader. Oh, oh. So, or, wait, no, did he get? Did, no, 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 no. He got a reroll on kickoff. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So he should have rerolled the animosity because it goes away. Yes. After the drive. Oh yes, yes. Oh. Ah. Absolute scenes. He had a free reroll and then he's lost it. Ah. Unfamiliarity with the 2020 rules. Yeah, I mean, he, he was top of the ladder for a lot of the times. So he's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's played a lot, but I guess it is. I guess it's something It's something that you're so used to, isn't it? That's the thing that you've got to yes, snap yourself yeah. out of. Is It's it's not unfamiliar with the rules. It, well, it, it's unpracticed. It's unfamiliar with the old rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Unpracticed or something, I don't know. But yeah, lack of sure. lack of doctrination in the new rules. But whatever it is, it's like it's so easy to just think, oh, yeah, I've got a real... I, I, I remember doing it. I remember not re-rolling something. And then yeah. losing the reruns, like, oh shit, I could have rerolled that. But like, mine was just like a greed block or whatever. But like, yeah. you know, for this, could have easily been that. You know, I could have definitely done the same as, as Diamed there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it is when you've played the other way for, you know, X amount of yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the problem. Like that's that, then that is a, an element of the of the skill icons, right? Is the way used to these icons for five years or whatever, and so. Yeah. It, it's it you know it is understandable that any icons would be worse, but also the new icons are bad. Like I I'm sure objectively the new icons are bad. Brilliant coaching. Diamond gets another one. Diamond getting a lot of the dice here, hasn't oh. he? He's made two cars. He's got he's got two extra re rolls though he, he didn't yeah. use one. Uh, but you know yeah, fair to, fair to. And 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 he's won the, the he's won the toss right. He's won the overtime toss. Yeah. Pretty, both both pretty. tosses. Oh, was he, was he in both even? Yeah. So yeah. pretty favourable to Diamond so far, dice yeah. wise. Yeah. yeah. Not that the first one matters as much as the overtime one, but you know. No, what I mean. yeah, this is the big one, yeah. 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 And again, we've got the blocks before, before safe moves. <laughs> the classic. And we've got a bit of a we've got a bit of a bubble box issue here as well, haven't we? Oh my god, he's got all oh. the dice. He's got all the dice. Hey, but he regens. Hooray! That'll be really good if uh, Diamond scores a two turn and. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah th this guy just had to be one in front, right? Because if this if this pickup had failed, it bounces to him and it goes forward to like here, and then you blitz and then you pow him and then it scatters back and back and it comes out you know like, yeah, I know it's stupid yeah. but there's, there's a chance and it's it's uh -huh. something that should be you know people should just have that as automatic one in front so that you don't bubble box it yeah the dice are like to be fair uh, Hub and Bubbin got the 1D into pow into death yeah, to score his touchdown <laughs> so he got a big slice of luck to score his touchdown at all but then yeah since then a Kaz, uh, another Kaz, and win the coin tosses is definitely, you know, definitely is good dice for Diamond for sure. I'm not right, Morid. I'm absolutely shocking. Absolutely shocking. I would, I would take a Goblin if I had a Troll, I think. I think I would. I think it's just... There's too much chance of drawing, right, in this. And having a yeah. free one-turn chance yeah. is pretty good. It is, yeah. Even if it's Lord Odds. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking missed the throw. <laughs> Imagine taking a guy who all he's done is fail GFIs on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> who's got animosity as well. He's like, he's the yeah, goblins how arguably. How many animosities he failed? He's got like two animosities. That's incredible. <laughs> like every every time, every, literally every time he's tried to transfer the ball, he's failed animosity. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Mister Thrall. And it's stupid because it's his job, right? And in the fluff, yeah. they've got good throwers. That's the funniest thing, right? Oh, it, really? It, yeah, in the in the fluff, they've got Harg Vain Kill and Grishnak Goblin Throttler. And those are two oh. of the best throwers in Blood Bowl. <laughs> and they're both orcs. <laughs> and, yeah. the, and they're now in this, they're like, no, I don't want to pass because we're fucking stupid for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he uh, wonder if he puts the guard in here and then he can block and get an extra follow-up block, can't he? But then with that push direction, uh, I guess he blocked, he pushed anyway, so that screwed him, so he's just going to go straight in. And maybe he's punch and then punch. And this is pretty good, isn't it? This is pretty solid. Pretty solid progression up the field against nine players and no troll, so... He's certainly got a pretty strong advantage. Four guard versus one. It's pretty huge. I'm sure Diomed will be very confident right now. Yeah, it's brutal. Hate this, by the way. Hate this play. Blockless block before the block full block. Like, he'd literally moved in the guard. So he could have done the block block first. Block, block. I, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this does like to chain. Yeah. yeah chain is to throw one guy to the left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would have happened the other way as well, wouldn't it? Oh, no, because then he would have had to push to that square. Oh, yeah. No, okay. No, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Dis yeah. Disregard. Ah, so actually that would have been bad, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah. this was correct. Okay. Disregard. Yeah, yeah, Disregard. Yeah, yeah. Blockless block first was better in terms of yeah, pushes and yeah. stuff and chains. I thought you could just done it either way, right? But obviously, yeah. It's actually quite good. That's some nice foresight, to be honest. Like, it's easy to make the mistake there, right? Like, wait, yeah. shit, I've, I'm now limited where I can push this guy. Yep, yep. That's exactly the sort of mistake I would make. And Indeed, I'll do the block block first. And then, like, cause it doesn't yeah, matter which yeah. order it is, which is just a mistake. Like, I would have thought of the order and then thought it didn't matter and be like, oh, I fucked up. Yep, yep. yep. Oh, the double skulls. Oh, Takes it. Oh, it's God. over, though. Oh. You have to re-roll yeah, that. Is it? Yeah, it's over. I mean, don't say it's over, but ordering a game like this guy pulling yeah. back, pulling back. He's if, probably a little bit despondent at this. Point, he probably he? is. Yeah, he probably is, and it's like it's fair enough. Like I'm not. It it feels bad because it feels like you're hammering on them, isn't it? But you're also yeah. like. You know, it's you're thinking about for in future and for the viewers and everything yeah. and stuff, isn't it? Like, oh that, yeah, there's, there's is... no harm in like bringing it up. Sure, yeah, but yeah. I'm I'm just kind of like looking at it from like his perspective in terms of why he's making these mistakes. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've got no recollection of the second half of my game versus Hubbard. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was totally out of that. Like yeah, after the thing, yeah, I was just yeah. like, oh, "Fuck this!" I was just like throwing dice and you know thinking, "Well, look, I'll just give up a hundred blocks a turn, and hopefully he'll fail someone else." You know, something yeah, can happen. Yeah. Like, I just really had no game plan at all. I was just, just literally just hope for the best. I was, I was absolutely fucked in that game. First skill on Crocs guard or safer block? Yes, punter. Yes. Um... Yeah, because it was a one in nine. Like it wasn't even a one in thirty. I know it was a double skull, but like he w it was a blockless block. So you know, one in nine times you're you're eating it. Then then you have to move the the Mister Throw first. If it was a block block, then there's more forgiveness for thinking this won't be a one in thirty six, right? Um, I mean, it depends if you you any of the information you get from doing the block dictates where Mister Throw is going as well. Yes, right? like, true. If if, true. if it if it doesn't matter at all, then you you got to move him first either way, right? Yeah. True. True. And if it matters a lot, then yeah, you, know, you probably do the block first, either way. <laughs> but uh, I don't, I don't think it mattered a lot for sure. I yeah. can't remember what the state was like. Yeah. And yeah, and so so if it mattered a bit, then you might think, well, look, I'll do it block, yep. and it's only one in thirty six yes. times. Yes, exactly. So, but, yeah. but without yeah. the block, it's it's got to matter pretty much <laughs> to, to, to risk the one in nine first. Yeah. Um, yeah. So his first skill on Crocs is funny, right, big guys? Because defensive is really good now. Block's obviously really good. And guard's really good. Stand firm is really good as well. So it's really hard to, like, 
if you want to level your crocs up fast, then like like, like if you I mean, if you if you're building big is what I mean, sorry, then then block levels it up faster, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and actively taking blocks of him. Honestly, yeah. guards probably like better for the team, right? Yeah, I, uh, I think so as well. It's just instant value, isn't it? And like if it was yeah. black box trophy, then guard is giving yeah. you more impact for longer, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and you get it quicker as well, don't you? Yeah, mm. so. so yeah, the BBT or something, yeah, definitely guard. Yeah, so it all, all depends on format and stuff. Like everything does now, like with random. Yeah, like and it, stuff. It, it, infinite, infinite ladder, uh, Blood Bowl three, building a big team, probably block. It protects mm. him, you know, gets him leveled up, leveling up faster. So yeah, probably save, just save the block, honestly. But then also on Blood Bowl three, you have to think of the eighteen hundred TV cap. So you literally just have True. to plan your whole team. You, you, you know, yes, <laughs> plan your eighteen hundred TV team on on one of the online things that yeah. lets you lets you build teams and just plan out your eighteen hundred TV team, and then that will that might answer you it for you because you might not want him to have block. Dodge, guard, stand firm, defensive, yeah. <laughs> AV, you <Yeah>. know? <laughs> that might be a lot to, to put on him. Uh, good point. Oh. And now we're rerunning a dodge to recover from the dub skull. That's the problem, isn't it? Like, it's. Yeah. So I think this is the. If that had been a pow, it would have been a four three to hit the ball. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no. Oh no! It'd be, if no. it had been a pow, it would have been a three. Yeah, three double GFI, Yeah. Yeah, flip me. That's not bad. That's not bad. Really good. Yeah, yeah really have a nice. decent chance there. Yeah, really nice. With the state button. he's in. Yeah. yeah. It's funny because the temptation would be for Dimer to like bang it in early because like he's got so far forward and you know um bum's out of rerolls and he's probably not going to be able to score on his offensive drive as well. But then you do really ha you know you really do want to stall it out as well, isn't it? It's, it's not easy uh -huh. for Dimer right now. No, no, no. Some interesting decisions he has to make. Like it's pretty good. It's pretty good having five players versus six here. It's not terrible for uh, um bum. Yeah, it feels like you just re-centralize, I think. But yeah, it looks like he's not though. Yeah. This is what this is what yeah, I, I thought. thought he'd I th just go back to the middle. Yeah, yeah, I think if Diamed was watching somebody else play, he'd yes. probably block yes. this and re-centralize and stuff. But because uh, correctly predicted by myself, I'm brilliant. <laughs> Heat of the moment, he's wanting to push push this this flank, and I guess now yeah. the dice have prevented him from doing that. Now he will re-centralize. Yeah. Like the re-centralizing is super strong, isn't it? And it's safe yeah. and everything. And... But it is turn four of his drive, and he's like moving the ball back to midfield essentially. Uh, uh -huh. He's two men up, but it's uh, it's not enough to guarantee the score, is it? Nope. Maybe he's not going to move the ball. Maybe he's just going to keep it over here and just fight in the middle and then bring stuff over as well. Like, who knows? Maybe he's not. But this seems like, you know, chains and stuff can happen here. This seems yeah. dangerous. I mean, da chains can happen. You blitz this guy, you block him, and, and the ball gets on the ball. So there's an instant instant chain without thinking for a second. <laughs> there's an instant one uh -huh. day on the ball, so he does have to move the ball. Well, he's not moved it yet, which means he shouldn't move it because he's making blockless blocks. <laughs> so, you know, he really should have been moving the ball first if this was uh, what he was doing, I think. <laughs> okay, it's one square. <laughs> yeah... I wonder why he's gone one square though. Why not two squares? I don't know, would you? Like, I guess it's fine anyway. But yeah. just one more square to the left, and and the and the the big and one more square to the left as well. You know. Yeah. Square. Yeah, that does seem better, doesn't it? I guess because then he could like one D blitz you to base the ball, whereas now yeah, it's a bit harder for him to base the ball. It is. There's a world in which 
he want he blitzes the ball though maybe <laughs> down the outside <laughs> yeah with some dodges yeah what would this be do that 2d and then one two three four five six gfi gfi yeah he could have done couldn't he could have yeah. oh no but then that's after he's done this blitz so maybe he couldn't have i don't know but he's getting guys back anyway. He's, he's doing yeah, ev everything is, he can. Uh, yeah. Still just about alive. I'm not sure about the non-follow because... You're just giving him more options, aren't you, essentially? Yeah. You kind of just need him to roll as many dice as possible and hope something fails, right? Like... Yeah. A anything, anything that like reduces variance is bad for Hoppin' Bubbin and good for DM Ed right with him in such a strong position. Yeah. Cage here or something? He doesn't have to get forward yet, does he? He's still got four whole turns left. He's he's not in a in a race to get forward. He just he, yeah, as you say, he just wants to take it as safe as absolute safe as possible. Yeah, maybe maybe he can chain that square now and like just go up the sideline or something. Mm -hmm. Although the sideline is a bit scary, like you say, he doesn't have to get forward. Yeah. He's not doing the chain, I guess it doesn't matter anyway, because he gets the extra block anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it just seems a little bit Yeah. yeah. But you know, it gets it gets like this, doesn't it? You know, this is where this is where it core chortles and says, ha, 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 he's left a 4-3 on and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not that easy to play totally safe and, and make sure everything gets done. It really isn't. It's it's understandable yeah. that, you know, it's keep him time and stuff. Oh, he's left this open. Yeah, okay. I thought that guard big and that he moved behind the ball was going to go and assist the hit on the tackler. Yeah, so did I. Because you don't need to come around the back, really, do you? Like, there's nothing around the back. No. Well, I mean, there is now. <laughs> if, uh, if the, like, you know, the, this this one D, right? There's like. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Because yeah. if you if you if you're doing that two D instead of covering on the back, then, then there's nothing around the back. Yeah. 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 yeah like he's done this hit, and then yeah, this guard could have been here, and then you block him, and you you sorted. Yeah. Whereas now you're doing. Do you know what? I kind of preferred this one D as well, so that to yes, you've got him yes, freed. Is a better... But then as it happened, that but would have been a both down, and you'd have freed yeah, up this blitzer, yeah, so... Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So, do you... Um, 1D, and then dodge, 1, 2, 3, dodge, 4, yeah. 5, double G, 5, but then you're, then you're, then you're only 1D because of the guard. Oh, you could 2D instead of 1D, the, the, the mighty blow. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, you can, yeah. Yeah. But you're only so, yeah. wanding the ball on a dodge double you are. Yeah, we know. And you could uphill with the mighty blow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he hasn't followed, so he's not going for that anyway. Oh. I like this a lot less without Yeah. anything to follow it up with. Like, that could have been a blitz, right? Out of, like, if you're going to do this, maybe he's... He's like uh one deep blitz back. Okay, he's doing that dodge uphill. Oh, Double pow! Oh, oh, oh my god, and he's standing in Chun's column, and that means it might go in the might go in the crowd. Oh. It doesn't go in the crowd. He can dodge it. He can dodge it. <laughs> Dodging to scatter it off. Oh my god! Yeah, 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 yeah! Wow. Maybe maybe uh, one D uh, here. Maybe one D yeah. here. To get to get him back to cover, because that's or just yeah. dodge, or just maybe just dodge. Ah, the one D is just better, right? Might well, be. well, no. As we talked about before, that the the one D, if that's a both down, then that frees up his blitzer. So. Oh, but, I, I guess. But I guess the one, success the... is a lot better. The success is a lot better because yeah. now you put two on here and he's still tagged. So this is a lot better. Yes, then. And go. you can two D to free the blitzer anyway. You know, if, if he fail the dodge. So. Yeah. Here we go. So yeah, do you go for this four plus? Oh, and then leap and run past the guard biggest. 
if, if he actually makes the bigger. <laughs> 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 You're getting a bit too silly now, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, interesting. Yeah, you could just go back and screen, can't you? If you make the magic pickup, you can just do four feet back out and screen behind <laughs> yeah. the screen. Yeah. It's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, that would be incredible, wouldn't it? One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six. That would be the best player. Well, I mean, not really. Oh, no, oh, no. no. Oh, you, you just can't leave it like this, right? Unfortunately, like, it's just not good enough. Sadly. Doesn't, doesn't seem good enough. Aww. It's understandable, all right, with no rerolls, you think. I'm just going to I'm just gonna uh, dodge no. it. I'm just going to fail a dodge and he'll scatter and he'll catch it. Yeah, but you've also got to think, I'm fucked. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true. Yeah, you really uh... should be thinking that quite strongly, yes. Ooh. Oh, well. Ooh. The... Ooh. No, it's not his last reroll because he got the extra reroll no, from the kickoff. Yes, oh. again, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this looks pretty fucked for Hub and Bubbin. Yeah, maybe he had to... Maybe he had to hit that uh, hit that button. Yeah. Yeah, four, 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 three. And it's amazing yeah. though. You just, I mean, you don't even win. Like that, that's how fucked you are. You don't even win if you make this four, 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 yeah. three. Well, Mr. Throw 1 in 9 it would just about sum up the match. Yep. Well, when he goes from there, I thought he might have, you know, blitzed from not there, and yeah. then you'd have more options, right? Because he could have still yeah. just. He could have just blitzed from here, and then if he wants to, go in there. Yeah. Um, I guess he was sure that he wanted to stay there. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Ah, but would have double would a double skull have been better here or here? I guess, oh. I guess is, a, is, a, is a factor. No, isn't it, it would have been better on the outside, wouldn't it? I mean, I think so. But that that there isn't yeah. there is a there is an element of there is okay, an yeah. element of it mattering, um, one way or the other. Yeah, this, this was the problem with not going for that, as lords as it was. Balls in hand, two turns, strong yeah. cage. Yeah. Don't really and see. And like, sc the scattering it backwards is not that low odds, right? You know? Mm. Scattering it, like, uh, is, is one in three to get the backwards scatter. Then maybe Diomed's, uh, you know, yeah, gonna, gonna have the clock against him. Yeah. Maybe the big and blitzers? Because um, you power him into this, which is a nice place to be in, right? Ooh. Start with a 1D, that's interesting. What, are we going for something? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this 1D, but I think this 2D is too good, right? Get another big yeah. in. Oh, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Like, what, what? What was he going to blitz here? I don't really know. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem. Like, I, I mean, I'm all for this one D eventually, but I feel like yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This two D is so good to to like you know put two players on your strength four guy and then get another strength five in the in the mix, like either here or here. If for pow. He does. Now, Mr. Throw can't quite escape from these down orcs. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's slightly interesting here. DC sideline, does he GFI or does he just stand next to a down orc? Yeah, that's his yeah. three choices, really. It's hilarious, isn't it? Fucking Mr. Yeah. Throw. <laughs> it looks like a GFI. I think yeah, it's a GFI. I think yeah. it's got to be a GFI, hasn't it? Yeah. And then, like, what? Lino there and there. Okay, no, Lino here. Mm, that's a weird square. Yeah. It's fine, but... Yeah. Is the other Lino here, then? Yes, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's got to be here. Blockless block mm, first. Was, yeah, With one weird, weird block. That doesn't even do anything, yeah. Yeah, I really fucking hate that. <laughs> yeah, same, same. <laughs> Yeah, I think you have to just move your move your line away and then do your GFI. All right, come, Mr. Throw. Come, Mr. Throw. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <Boy. laughs> 
Well, you know, Hubbard Hubbard has form for riots. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, it's not over. Don't say no, it's over. No, no. And he did score without a reroll on that riot as well. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just quietly. Yeah. Don't know if I've mentioned it before. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. So he's got a dodge one, two, three, four, five, six GFIs. You can stand up to cancel the assist, and then she's looking yep. at a three, four, five, one D. It's not that bad, right? No, yeah, yeah. And if you pow, then it it could oh, go. Oh no, 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 no! He can chain his orc in. Can oh shit! He can chain his orc in. Fuck. No, he's just stood him up. No, he hasn't. Oh, <gasps> what? I guess it's got to be up. No, no. Well, he's got a dumb. Nice, yes. Oh my god, look at this. This one's a oh, GFI no, no, that's even jumps. better. Double GFI is even better. But it's still an uphill. Do you do the dodge for the what, 1D? The 3 plus 3 plus. Uh, it, it's 3 plus 3 plus either way, right? The uphill is 3 plus 3 plus, and the dodge 1D is 3 plus 3 plus. But it's more chance to pow him if you dodge and one D, yeah. which matters. Cause, ah, but then it's still, yeah, yeah, d d yeah. Then you <laughs> have to dodge Mister Throw, and then you get the one to cancel the line orc. Goes for the uphill, gets it. So it oh is going to be an uphill. God. It is going to be an uphill, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. I mean, it could be a dodge 1D, right? 4 plus 1D. Oh, yeah, 1D. oh yeah, yeah, sure. But then the uh... uphills are 4 plus anyway, isn't it? The uphills are 4 plus anyway, so... Ah. Uh... Yeah. Get it. But the uphills are 4 plus. No. Yeah, because you, you have to, you have, both you have to down. knock down, right? Both down, pow, pow. Oh, so you mean four one, dice of, one, one dice of the uphill? Yeah, yeah. So the I uphills, just... two dice. <laughs> yeah, but but so is the dodge, right? The dodge is a four plus dodge, then a yeah. four plus knockdown, and an uphill is a four plus knockdown, then a four plus knockdown. So it's exactly yeah, the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the uphill is two four pluses. Yeah, but it but the dodge one d is also two four pluses. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm, yeah. So, I'm, so, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the uphill is, is two four pluses. Yeah, yeah. So it's just it was just the same whether he does it yeah, uphill yeah, or the yeah. dodge. So like maybe the the dodge is better for like a better like maybe a better uh, success state. Yeah, a maybe. Uh, yeah. Maybe. More more likely to pow. More likely to pow than both down. Think, uh, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think yeah, the dodge one yeah. D is more chance of power compared to both down. Yeah, that's a good point. It's not just a four plus four plus. Yeah, when is a four plus four plus not a four plus four plus? <laughs> <laughs> when it's better to power. Yeah, and it was better to power because powering bit gets him in the end zone and maybe scatters out. So yeah. the dodge one D was better. There you go. A subtle difference. That yeah. not many people would would know if they weren't just talking in a, in a Discord chat, watching a random match. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, it's interesting, though, isn't it? Super interesting. <laughs> well, here we here we go. Can Hubbard Hubbard pull it pull it out of the fire? Yeah. He no. doesn't get oh. the timeout, and yeah, he got, he got a bit banged on by the dice, didn't he? Yeah, he did, he did. Took a bunch of cars. Um, I think they both did good and bad things in the game. I wouldn't... I find it hard to say Diamed outplayed Hubbin Bubbin. Um, I feel like Hubbin Bubbin did get into a worse state on his offense. But then it's really hard to, like, say that was due to the good play or the dice at any time, isn't it? It's so hard to... Separate skill from dice, and I don't think like anything. Any either of them did anything terrible, right, or anything brilliant. Is my opinion. I think they both played well. Do you know what I mean? But like there was there was no clangers or anything, was there? Where you are like, oh god. No. Um. So yeah, both played well. Congratulations to Diamed, who who you know goes three and zero. To be fair, gets through, avoids the heartbreak of uh, of winning two and then losing and going out. Hub and Bubbin loses for the second time. Um. So there you go. No, no, uh, no, losing the champ for Jim. <laughs> and, uh, well, no, maybe, maybe Galentio will win, but that's one of my chances of losing the champ gone. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, big congrats to Diamond. Uh, tough, tough battle, wasn't it? Lots of, lots of things happened. A bit of trench warfare, orc, orc mirror, and uh, well, 
Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they build it as the, the battle of the guard biggins, didn't they? Two, two guard biggins. Two guard biggins for Hubbard Hubbard versus four guard biggins for Diamond. And Diamond's guard biggins didn't even just guard Hubbard Hubbard's guard biggins, but Diamond made a big remove with his guard biggins on Hubbard Hubbard's guard biggins. And then Hubbard Hubbard's remaining guard biggins standing got the MVP even despite losing. And that's, uh, that was just about the tail of the match, wasn't it? Thank you so much, Elliot. I, I imagine that the, the point that you prepared this was when you said, I'm going to stop saying guard big. <laughs> I, th I, I, I thought it wouldn't work so well if I did it all the way through. I thought we need to make first. <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I, don't, I don't think we shit really on anything, Diamond. I think it was more... There was some, like, kind of slight ordering things, you know, but, but not bad. Just the things that, like, should be, like, automatic every time that weren't. Like, Art always goes on about it, and those things did happen. I don't think either one did anything really terrible. Hello, no, Hoban no. Bubban. I thought it was... I, 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 what I, did, I did prefer, I did prefer Diomed's five back to stop the two turn yes, to Hoban yeah, Bubban's yeah. six back to stop the two turn. Yeah, that was the thing. I, because the again, the I'm sure I went six back versus Hubbum Bubbum because I was thinking I want them to GFI to Blitz if it's not a riot. But I th knowing that it's defending a two turn, I really liked um, Diomed's two turn defense of being five back. Um, so yeah, honestly, yeah. Well, well played both of you. Um, they yeah, were, they were just minor nitpicks and like you know, us talking about stupid things like whether a four plus one D is better than an uphill and stuff like yeah. it was just it was like there was so it was so like niche kind of things. It was it was overall a very well played game I thought from both of you. And yeah, uh, very very evenly played, right? Like and really you know it came down to the toss pretty much didn't it in overtime you know mm. so yeah. The toss and the cars, right? Just just Rando cars. Yeah, yeah, a bit, bit, bit lucky from Diamond in the end on the injuries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Breaky T with the red glorious Breaky T, the legend. By the way, if you if you don't know Breaky T, you should probably check him out. And also, um, there is I've just done it TT because he's Breaky TT now. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> um, there you go. He did all this spreadsheet, and he does, he's, he maintains this amazing spreadsheet that has all the play in information. So be sure to check all that out. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, Eliod. Fantastic having you in the having you in the booth talking about guard beacons. <laughs> 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 all right okay okay here we go one question he's still thinking about we'll we'll do this before we wrap up the youtube video hope hope, hope the youtube commentators will enjoy guard biggins <laughs> i really hope they do yeah <laughs> would you've dodged on the ball uh when yeah can you be mm. more specific please the, the, oh, the, 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 do you mean the 1D? Or 22? 22. Oh, to scatter it. Yeah, the scatter it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think, I, yes. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. 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 I think you were in such a bad position, right? You had to, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, I think it was one of those, again, that, you know, when you're removed from the game, when you're removed from the game, you, you think you do the 4+. Plus. And in the heat of the battle, you're, you're like, a bit scared to do it. And you think, oh, I don't want to do it. And then, and then mm. you know, but I think I think that is the, uh, that is the detached from the emotions and the pressure. I think that is an automatic dodge in and hopefully, because you, you are, as Elliot said, you've got to realise how fucked you are. <laughs> and you've got to go for, like, this getting lucky in the crowd, scatter, pushing back, and, and, you know, something to just make it a bit harder. And, you know, you saw the turn after, like, there's a, suddenly a full cage and it's just horrible again. So I do think that was kind of necessary. Um, one thing for you, Hubbum Bubbum, there was one mistake. There was one thing that was definitely a mistake, um, which did cost you a reroll. Which was um, you? Oh. You double dodged to get into the square that you could have just jumped. Um, when you when your blitzer was stuck on the sideline, there was there were, there was a prone player next to you. You could have jumped over him on a four plus, and instead you 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 four three dodged. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there you go that's one of the uh that was one of the things so yeah i would say for, <laughs> i said practice i said you've got i said you've got to practice your jumps and, and what i meant was practice looking for jumps <laughs> but actually as elliot pointed out you literally have to practice with the ui as well 
I mean, I mean, it helps as well if, like, it, I IRL, when you're doing a jump, you, you do a little jump in your life. Gets the, really gets the muscle memory going, you know? Yeah, yeah. maybe a half-star jump, yeah. <laughs> and it's good exercise. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the guy bigging, yeah, as well, yeah, there was there was all that side and action and, and the and the jump, yeah, exactly, jump on the, yeah, yeah, jump to yeah. the dodge on the edge, yeah, it's a gr- much better failure state, right? Like, it gets you two squares in, it's an, it, yeah, Diomed's guard bigging, yeah, that, it really was, it was the guard bigging, it was an incredible, it was an incredible <laughs> jump that he could have made, and so, yeah, you know, you're probably going to fail, right, it's a five plus or a six plus, it's not making much, much success odds, what you want is get him off the edge, so yeah, there you go, good, good bit of jumping there, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Mm-hmm.